Hey guys, it's me, Pharaoh, with the first PvP analysis of you guys playing the game. I just gave it a test run and I did not pause the game a single time and that did not work for me too good. There is too much going on. I will try to limit pausing the video of the other guys not too often, but I will have to do it at some point because it is, it is a lot that's going on and I can't talk that fast. I'm not Eddie Murphy. But enough with the talk, let's jump right into the first match. In our first match we have anti pay to win Steamroller versus White, whatever, we're going to call them Ant and White. Now looking at this hand, he has to decide what to play first. In my opinion, it's either a really slow unit or a charge unit. In this case, I would play Pirate Ship Timmy. However, he plays Enforcer Jimmy, which is also acceptable because he is really slow and has a really slow spawn animation as well. Now this Thunderbolt was absolutely nuts, we not, don't need to talk about that. First mistake, don't play Terence Mephisto unless you have to beat Critters or another Terence Mephisto. This was not, he, he can't block Calamity Heidi. Now this was rather okay, but as you guys can see, they are really close together. This is going to be a very valuable fireball, or at least he's going to work, be worth it. So maybe he should have played the second assassin behind the enemy unit to maybe have the units more spread out. Now I would again play a slow unit or a charge unit. The options being Pirate Ship Timmy, Stand of Many Moons or Calamity Heidi. I would have probably chosen Pirate Ship Timmy, but Stand of Many Moons after a Cadible Timmy is definitely okay. Because that is at least one expensive unit he can blast away. So here we will see a good... By the way, Calamity Heidi, perfect unit to place in front of the tank. And now comes the overkill. Poison already did the job of killing the reds. This Terran Mephesto was very much misplaced. So don't spam it too much in Terran Mephesto, rather use it as a counter unit. Because now you have 4 energy facing the enemy new kit, that's not really worth it. Don't use Alien Clyde as a body block, because he has a really long spawn animation due to his battle cry. Use something that can get quicker into the match instead of him. This is where you would have wanted to play the Alien Clyde, because Poison at Starving Marvin is great. Now he obviously has to play the Pirate Ship Timmy. Next. And this Princess Kenny will hurt. Playing Ike is correct, I guess. He should have used uh, Ike's ability much sooner, but it wouldn't have made that much of a difference. Poison is definitely the correct play in here. So the most problem you have is in my opinion placing this Terence Mephesto. Right now the best option would probably be Stand of Many Moons. However, not now but much more early and behind your new kit. Because now he's probably going to be killed before he can use his ability, which is a waste. And as you can see, it was really close, so playing him sooner would have totally changed that match. I'm pretty sure he actually would have won the match if he played Stand of Many Moons more early. And there comes the Fireball. <laughs> the Fireball wasn't really worth it, to be honest. However, if he have, didn't have another answer, who knows. Red vs. Princess Kenny is always perfect. That's how you want to trade against her. And this I again don't understand. This play is weird. He might have actually been able to stop Stan, uh, Stan's charge if he played um, played the Kenny or uh, the Timmy first. So that was another mistake. This poison is perfectly fine, I guess. It's a huge chunk of units. Now he tries to counter push and the time is... Oh, that Mephesto needs to be level 4 soon. <laughs> but yeah, I know it's really hard. I had a big struggle doing this. I actually would have answered with 
a red, uh, with red right there because he is definitely not going to be fast enough at taking down the enemy. So there were a few bigger mistakes, Whoop, one being definitely uh, Stand of Many Moons earlier. Alien Clyde is not something you want to body block and Terence Mephesto use him mostly as a counter card, especially since he's only level 3. Do not just place him as a card you place behind your new kit. That's what your Pirate Ship Timmy is for, or your Enforcer Jimmy, or your Calamity Heidi. And actually also Stand of Many Moons. So you see you have a lot of better options doing that. And let's get right into the next one. So the next match is from Agar Gaming. He decided to actually show us his face, which is nice. And let's see what he's about to do. He is actually two levels under him. And the first thing is, who can Clyde, you should only play him when the enemy has already two enemies on the field. So the chances are bigger for you to hit an enemy um, enemy character instead of the new kid. However, he play, the enemy plays Marcus up front for some reason, which is wrong. <laughs> so that went out better than it might have been with a more knowledgeable opponent. Now there, okay, the activation could have come a little bit sooner, but that is pretty much nitpicking. There again, use the ability a little bit sooner, he might have made more damage then. And it, this is actually the same, we were talking just about it. Do not use Terence Manifesto out of the blue, he should rather be used as a counter card. Uh, this is a good shield by Wendy. And there we need rats, immediately rats, very good, he does it. However, he was... Oh my god, this was unlucky. Well, the Terrans Mephesto wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. <laughs> but that was more unlucky than it was unskilled at this very moment. So I'd say for now he should have rather saved energy to counter the enemy. He wasn't in the need of playing cards right there. So he should rather go for a defense and then go for a big push after successfully defending because right now this he did not have enough energy to stop big guy L. however the units of him were just dying on the enemy board which wasn't very successful he came on out on top nonetheless and is probably going to hit one new kid right there Oh, no he's not, but the enemy just wasted 4 energy for a rather, rather weak doggy. The e rats play was pretty damn good, and I guess this is going to be the health bar. And now again, after this, wait until you have 10 energy for a much bigger push, and probably start really slow with a Sheriff Cartman in the back, which he does, which is good. I'd actually consider fireballing uh, Marcus and Starvin Marvin at the same time, which would have been much more worth it, I guess. This is the correct play, playing uh, Sally. Pretty damn good. So at this point, how do you how do you deal with Cyborg Kenny? This is pretty damn important. Because in my opinion, fireballing whatever the fuck he has going on there would be the best option because you cannot be um, manipulated by him when you kill him with spells. So he should have saved a little bit up and used the fireball. However, I believe he got lucky and the step killed it probably. Okay. The Clyde was definitely an okay play. However, the rats after um, after Battle Butters is not the best. I would much rather use Sally because one speed up red is not as good as one speed up Sally. I will now edit the video and add some notes, add stuff that I missed commenting the game. And I hope you did enjoy it. You can watch his video on his channel as well as the other one. And well, I hope you learned something from this video. If not, leave a comment at what you would suggest for the next time.
that's it for me. Pharaoh out.